Welcome to Ellen Cook Stuff, the show where I cook stuff. I've partnered with Micro YYC to bring you some video content to create some recipes featuring their microgreens. They grow everything. Today, we're gonna be working with the delicious pea shoot. If you don't know Micro YYC, you get to know them. Today I'm making potato pea shoot pierogies. It is not summer anymore. It's just, it's time for comforting food. I don't think there's anything more comforting than a delicious pillowy soft pierogi. Your pierogies deserve pea shoots. They do. And so do you. You deserve pea shoots. You're probably thinking, this, this woman makes dumplings all the time. Yeah, I love dumplings. My favorite food. All dumplings. Today, pierogies. Pea shoots. Smells like peas. Tastes like peas. Mmm. So good. Yum. We're gonna start by making the dough. And while the dough is resting, we'll make our filling. For the dough, you will need flour, water, butter, salt. That's it. These pierogies are going to be like pillows for your mouth. In a mixing bowl, I'm going to sift 500 grams of flour and two teaspoons of salt. I'm using diamond crystal kosher salt. If you are using regular table salt, only use one teaspoon. Diamond crystal salt is bigger. The granules are bigger. So you'll, you'll need more. If you're just using regular table salt, one teaspoon. In a saucepan, I'm going to add 280 milliliters of water and 40 grams of butter. And we're just going to heat it until the butter has melted and the water is warm. Our butter has melted, our water is warm. We are going to add the water and butter mixture to the dough, stir it, and then knead it for around five minutes until smooth. Workout done for the day. Filling time. For the filling, you will need potato, peas, cottage cheese that has been pressed, butter, caramelized onions, horseradish, S&P, salt and peps, that's it. The caramelized onion and horseradish are optional. Uh, I like horseradish because it adds a little bit of a kick. If you don't like it, omit it. If you've got the time to make caramelized onions, add them. They're delicious, but they do take time. If you are like me and you wanna prep the day before, I made these yesterday. I also pressed the cottage cheese overnight. I put it in a cheesecloth and sat it in a sieve and then in a bowl to catch the liquid. We don't want that in our pierogi, making it wet and sloppy and a mess. I also baked my potatoes yesterday. Traditionally, you would boil the potatoes and put them through um, a potato ricer. Yeah, I don't have a potato ricer. I bake the potatoes because it's less mess and then I just give them a little mash. You don't want to overdo it with the mashing. Your potatoes will become gluey. We don't want gluey potatoes. Pierogies are, are laborious, like, let's be honest, but worth it. filling ingredients are prepped. We're going to mix them all together and start filling. Hey. 
divide this into four separate pieces. I'm lacking space. I don't have enough space to roll this big old thing of dough out. And I'm going to wrap the dough I'm not using back into plastic wrap. We want to keep it nice and soft, right? We don't want it to dry out. some dough, I cut some little dough circles, and I placed my filling on the dough. So, folding these little pierogies. I, I'm terrible for overstuffing these things. I kind of just take my finger and squeeze the filling down, like a little taco. You're just making a half moon shape, and all you're gonna do is take the ends together and press, and you wanna really make sure that they are sealed. Otherwise, your pierogi will explode when you boil them. So really give it a good old press. And if you're fancy, maybe you wanna like do a scalloped edge or take a fork. I'm not fancy, but mostly I think I'm just lazy. That's a lie. You're not lazy if you make pierogies. <laughs> it's a big job. You do you. There you have it. A delicious potato pea shoot pierogi. I always get so nervous for making these videos. It's different than theater. In theater, the audience is right there, and you can really gauge the temperature of an audience right away. Are they laughing? Are they crying? Paying attention? This is, I'm just talking to myself. It's weird. The audience, that part comes later, that audience engagement, it's different. It, uh, I think that's where the nervousness, the anxiety comes in. It's like not knowing people will like it, but then you just gotta get over it and do it, right? At the end of the day, I'm doing it because I love it. So, yes. Hi everyone. I'm going to cook some of those pierogies up and we're gonna try them. I'm gonna boil my pierogies and then pan fry them. Time to taste. Check out these beauties. Little mouth pillows. I'm gonna go with the classic condiment for pierogies, sour cream. Right on top, pop a green. Also, like a little, a little preview of what's inside your dumplings. I mean, that looks so cute. Oh, shall we taste? I'm really worried I'm gonna burn my mouth. I guess that's just a risk I'm willing to take. Mmm. Mm -mm. Mm, mm. Oh my god, I didn't burn my mouth. I can really taste the peas. Mm. 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 It's nice. The peas blend a little freshness, the caramelized onion, a little sweetness, and then the horseradish. It's mild, but there's a little kick. This is really good. Make these. Go get yourself some micro YYC pea shoots and make these. One more. Mmm. Oh, mama. So good. Make this so good. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Until next time. Pea shoots.